What's up guys, it's Ralph Misha and welcome to another Pokemon TCG unboxing video. Today, as you can see on my playmat, I have two of the Vivid Voltage Build and Battle Kits. These are the pre-release kits. I got these from uh, my buddy Tom at 8 Planet. so thank you very much Tom for letting me have three of these. I'm really, really grateful. Um, I understand they're in high demand at the moment, so I was really lucky to uh, pre-order three when I did, or reserve three when I did. Um, but... I have two to open today. Dan and I are kind of going to be doing an informal uh, pack battle. So we're going to start off with mine, which is on the left, and then I'm going to hand over to Daniel afterwards, who's going to open his. His is on the right. We both picked our own boxes. This is the new set that's going to be coming out mid-November. So um, it's a weird sort of release date. Normally we get them on the first Friday of the, of the month, but this time we're getting them in the middle of the month. So yeah, um, if you haven't already seen my breakdown of what is in these kits go ahead and check out that video that will be in the description below as long as alongside the vivid voltage playlist which this will be in alongside that video and the champions path playlist uh so go and check that out as well but without further ado let's crack into this box and see what we get right daniel's put to one side Let's crack it and see what we get. I was hoping by now we'd be back to uh, actual IRL pre-releases, but this will have to do. I know that um, in the set there's like amazing rares, um, which I'm kind of looking for, but obviously pre-release promo wise, there's only one we really want, and that's the Charizard. Apologies for any glares, by the way. I'm still figuring out where to put the light. This is what the box looks like. I really like the box. This is Zarude, by the way, if you don't know who this is. We don't have Charizard, unfortunately. We have Donphan this time, which is pretty cool. I will crack that open in a minute, and we'll have a look at that. And then, of course, the four packs and the little leaflet, which I don't think I've ever shown. Just... Talking about the set and um, with rules on building tips and stuff like that and how to play. So put that at the back here. I think somewhere like that. So before we open the packs, which I think we have one of every pack artwork, we do. We have Celebi, Zarude, Fat Pikachu, and Orbital. Let's crack this over. This feels a lot thinner, a lot thinner than it used to. Um yeah, that's a bit of a uh, weird one, but there we go. In fact, I think, well, no, actually no, Daniel used to have some that were still sealed, but um, he doesn't anymore. So, get the Don Fan promo, which is actually a decent card. A quick ball, Professor's Research, I'm always looking for those. Opal, this is a new card from the set, let's have a look at it. Flip two coins, search your deck for a number of cards up to the number of heads put them into your hand so and then shuffle your deck so you can f potentially search up to two cards nessa put four in any combination of water pickle and water energy cards when you discard pile into your hand that's pretty cool especially for like a frost moth deck so we've got two nessa so whoop struggling here aracuda what do you do search for more aracudas just put these Separate, so we have three Arac four Aracudas, okay. There's another Cramorant. I think this is like the third Cramorant we've had in the Sword and Shield sets. It has Continuous Gulp Missile for two colourless, 60 times. Discard any number of Aracuda from your bench. This type does 60 damage for each Aracuda discarded in the play. I see why we have the Aracudas now, that's pretty cool. Got two Cramorant. We have B. don't know what she does. Go. Discard the top five cards of your deck and attach any energy cards you discarded in this way to your bench fighting Pokemon any way you like. That's kind of cool. There's another Opal. Dan, we know what Dan does. He is 100% a bulk card for me at this point. <laughs> um, and we're not doing a actual pre-release deck, so like we're not building the pre-release decks or anything. We're just going to go through them. Hit one top. Discard a card and then draw three for a single energy and then tornado kick does 50 plus if you played b 
it does 80 more damage that's kind of cool there's a bulk standard whooper we've got two of those and a crying sire fickle impact 180 if you have exactly two four or six prize cards remaining this attack does nothing Ooh, okay that feels bad in a pre-release there's a fan piece to use with our dom fan there's two fan pieces to use with our dom fan and another dom fan so that's the pokemon pack and the trainers not anything really to note there um, I do think the Cramorant Aracuda thing is kind of cool, but we have four packs, one of each artwork. Let's see if we can get anything interesting. I am going to be taking the code cards off the screen because I don't want to ruin them for myself either. Um, there we go, put them there. One, two, three. I don't actually know as well where the. Um, amazing rares go if they're in the reverse slot like a shiny or if there we go so we have sand isle i'm gonna go for these a little bit slower because i haven't seen this set yet picky peck mudbray there's a cute little joltic delmise out of focus there we go galarian stunfisk What's that ability do? Counter attack. If this Pokemon is in the active spot and is damaged by an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, even if it's knocked out, put three damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. Bit like the uh, V. Ooh! A new energy card. Aromatic Grass Energy. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides grass energy. The grass Pokemon this card is attached to recovers from all special conditions and can't be affected by any special conditions. That's pretty cool. We have a reverse Lucario, which is a reverse rare. With spike draw and knuckle impact, which is really hard to read on that uh, reverse pattern. And our first rare is... Oh, an Orbital VMAX. That's pretty cool. Let's have a look at this. It has Eerie Beam. Once during your turn, if, you're, if this Pokemon is in your the active spot, you may put one damage counter on each of your opponent's Pokemon and G-Max Wave for 50 plus for a grass and a colourless. This attack does 50 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. That's pretty nice. First pack. And we have a pull. So we'll put that one up there. I will also pull the Dom fan to the front as well. There we go. Pretty nice. Let's see if we can get the Charizard Hollow. That would be nice. Luckily for me, the codes are uh, face up, so I don't actually know if they're green or white. I can't actually see the colour, so that's pretty cool. We have a Beldum, Milkery or Milsari, I don't know how you say that one. Another Whooper, Minkada. What is that Wisma artwork? <laughs> Wow. Kakuna. I always say this one. Surchester Bath. It's not going to focus, but I will tell you what it says. All basic Pokemon, both yours and your opponents, take 20 less damage from attacks from the opponent's Pokemon. So, just a general uh, 20 reduction. The reverse is a Woobat, which is a reverse common. And the rare is a Jolteon which is actually really cool artwork has thunderous awakening as, a bit, as its ability if this Pokemon has a memory capsule attached water Pokemon in play have no abilities that could be interesting so I think memory capsule is the same as um, the old memory berry um, from like the Wizards of the Coast days correct me if I am wrong I guess if we pull one we will find out um, there's a lightning energy. So we have a clobopus that's going to be out of focus. Sorry that they're out of focus, guys. Ah, there we go. Now they're in focus, sort of. Ferro seed. There's another Joltic. Memory capsule. There you go. Thought we'd pull one. It is a tool card. 
the Pokemon this card is attached to can use any attack from its previous evolution. So yeah, it's exactly the same as the old Memory Berry. Which is pretty cool. There's a Giraffe Rig. Giraffe Rigs are usually interesting to look at. Put two damage counters wherever you want. There's an Electric. The reverse is a Ninjask, which is a reverse rare. So we have two reverse rares. And it has that cast off shell. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may search your deck for a Shedinja and put it onto the bench, then shuffle your deck. And the rare is a Shedinja. <laughs> and Shedinja has an ability which says put this Pokemon into play only with the effect of Ninjas, Ninjas cut off shell ability. Uh, when you are setting up to play, you cannot put it face down as an active Pokemon on your bench, and it has life screens for three colourless. Put damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon until it has HP remaining of 10. So that's quite interesting. So we started off strong with a VMAX. Let's see what we can end with with this Celebi pack here. Actually managed to keep all the packs from being shredded, which is kind of cool. I'm not usually very good at that. Pokemon aren't usually very good at uh, making packs that don't shred. So, oh. So there's another Milkery. Let's see if I can get it into focus. I feel like the further, the closer it is to the camera, the worse the focus is. It's a Galarian Meowth, a Chimeco, Blitzel, Slugma, another Galarian Stunfisk. That's three Galarian Stunfisks. Sableye, who has Filch to draw a card, and then Torment, double colourless, 30, and choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon attacks and they can't use it during the next turn, which would be disgusting in pre-release. There's a Cramorant. Reverse is an Oshawa. And our final rare is a Quagsire. Regular rare. So I am going to do some editing magic and Daniel's going to come over and open his packs. Right, everyone, we're here opening my box this time. Hopefully, we can get a Charizard. That would go very nicely into my collection. Although, I have looked, and as of the time of opening this, they are sealed packs are selling for a lot of money. So, if we do get a Charizard promo, I will not be opening it on the video, just in case we do decide to sell it. But, um, let's have a look and see what we get. And we get a, if I can get the thing open, we get Lugia, okay. Lugia and the four packs, let's put that over to the side. Do you want to keep that sealed or not? Okay. Right, okay, let's crack this open and see what we have in this pack. Just uh, put that code to the side. Okay, so we have Lugia, uh, a Quick Ball, Sonia, Pop, two Nessas, that's good. Oh, this is the same pack as the other one that we just opened. We've got Leon, another Sonia, uh, Professor's Research is good. Uh, Hop, where's Hop gone? There he is, he's there. Some Charmanders, some Charmeleons, and some Charizards. Very nice. I'll be taking one of these Charizards and putting them in my Charizard binder. Which, if you guys do want to see a review of my Charizard binder, then uh, put it in the comments and we might do that for you. But uh, we can clear all this off and then we'll open the packs. <coughs> okay, so here's the four packs. Um, I don't know what really the code is, so I will have a look and see if I can open it. Which I seem to not be able to at the moment. Okay, right. Let's turn that code and put it there. Flip the energy. Let's just move these packs out of the way for a second. There we go. Okay, so we got an Electrike, a Delmise, a Galarian Stunfisk, a Ty Tynamo, 
we have something in this, which is interesting. Uh, I think. Well, it might just be the top of the cards. Now we have an execute, a shallot, a clobopus, a skiddo, a mudbray, and a samurot. So it was just the top of the cards had a bit of uh, stuff on them. Okay, next pack. We have this is another green code. So we'll flip that energy. Do that. Okay, we have a sandal, sea dot, piggy peck, a mud bray, a joltic, kakuna, mumu cheese, a sable eye, a rubat, and an al creamy. One of the very, very many different versions of our creamy there are. I believe we have a white coat in this one. No? Okay. Still a green. Let's see. Okay. Uh, let's do a trick. Flip the energy. Do that. There we go. Okay, we have an Oshawott. Pineco. Clefairy is not a shiny one. Tynamo. Milkery, an aromatic grass energy, Garvantula, a swallow, a loudred, and a forest, fo forest trust, or fortress, something like that. Can't say that word. Okay, and the last pack. Just chuck those in there. Okay. Last pack. Can we get at least a white code? Out of these boxes. Nope, I can't even get it. There we go. Oh, we do get a white code. Okay. Thank God for that. We got something. Maybe. Let's do that. <coughs> okay, we have a Weedle, a Tello, a Sandal, an Oshawott, Pineco, Galarian Stumpfisk, Sableye, Cramorant. A reverse Welmer and a Steelix V. Not too bad. He looks like a fairly okay uh, card. Probably won't see a lot of play, but uh, a V is still good nonetheless. So that is the only pulls we got from this box, but it is at least a pull. So. I will hand you back over to Michelle after we've cleared this all up and she'll uh, do her outro for you. So that is going to be it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to leave you looking at um, what the pre-release kits looked like before we opened them. Uh, mainly because I'm recording this after we've recorded the video and I kind of forgot to take pictures and stuff like that so <laughs> um, I'll leave you on the f a footage that I took previously. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, of course, please be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new around here. I'm trying to hit 100 subscribers. I'm now at the point of recording this uh, outro at 85. So I only need 15 more people. And according to my statistics, about 70% of the viewers are not subscribed. So if you're not subscribed and you're watching this, please do hit that subscribe button. It will mean a lot to me to hit 100 by the end of the year. Um, so thank you very much if you do do that. Share this video with your friends if you think you know somebody else who may also enjoy watching a video like this. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know if you have opened any Vivid Voltage and what your favourite card that you've pulled so far is. I'm a really big fan of the amazing rares that are in this set. Um, so let me know what you think of those. And check out the other videos in the playlist linked down below. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.